Hello guys, Luke here, and it's been a while since I've done a video. Actually, the last video I did was around State of Origin Game 1 time, which New South Wales won. That brings us to Game 2. I'm um, doing a little bit of a preview. Now, last time I went through both teams and sort of gave my thoughts on both sides, but New South Wales have got the exact same team. In Queensland, they've got a fair, they've got a few changes, um, and I thought I'd just give my quick thoughts on the game as a whole rather than do separate ones. So, obviously, the game is played tonight. It's, uh, it's at ANZ Stadium, so it's New South Wales' home game. They go into it with a 1-0 lead, which I think is very important. Um, I said from the start, New South Wales needed to win the ga game one at Suncorp, because I don't think they could win it in game three, but... Um, they've done that and I think this is a uh, not the easier game but this is the game I was less worried about leading into the series however however Queensland have named sort of the side you probably would have expected for game one if I'm honest um, a lot of the problems I talked about like your Justin O'Neill's your Lumens your Nate Miles and that um, where I shit on them in the in the preview for actually I didn't really shit on them but but uh I didn't really speak very highly of them and I said they'd be problem areas for Queensland and they were and it wasn't just me of course like most people said that um, and they have fixed that uh, who, who's come in um, Jared Wallace has come in Billy Slade has come in Thurston's back as well um, not that Milford played bad but Thurston's back he'll make a big difference um, Cohen Hess is in uh, they dropped Aiden Guerrero hasn't been that great um, so yeah, Queensland have made a lot of changes and I think they're the changes that need to be made. Whether it's kind of too late, I'm not exactly sure. Um, because that New South Wales team, I think now they've kind of got a bit of a bond, they've got a bit of chemistry. Uh, I still think New South Wales would be too strong. However, last game, I was super confident New South Wales was going to win. This game, not so much. Um, especially with the way New South Wales won last time, I'm not sure if that's going to work in, like, against us because... Queensland, I feel like they've got a chip on their shoulder now. Uh, everyone's saying they're too old, they're done. Um, it's about to be a dynasty for New South Wales, and Queensland are ready to say hell no. Uh, especially players like Thurston, and uh, like this is his last series, he's, he's back. But yeah, players like Cameron Smith as well, Billy Slade is back in the side. Uh, the only question mark I really have over the side is uh, Darius Boyd in the centres and then Dan Gagai on the wing. And I know Dan Gagai uh, hasn't played centre for Queensland, but he's played like he's, he's a center he's a center who's playing wing for origin then we've got Darius Boyd who's a fullback playing wing uh, sorry fullback playing center for origin um who's also well he's a fullback slash winger so and wouldn't I think it would make more sense to have uh, Darius Boyd on the wing uh, especially I think from what from what all reports like center's kind of the hardest position to defend in in terms of you got to decide whether you go in or out uh, like if you jam in, uh, so it's interesting to see how it goes because I think he's up against uh, Jared Hayne. Jared Hayne had a little bit of problem um, in the first games. Come out in the papers that he's talking about how buggered he was and all that. So um, yeah, maybe center. I don't know. Hopefully we can kind of exploit Darius Boyd in the centers. Hopefully he has a shocker to be honest. So that's what that's what I'm hoping as a New South Wales supporter, and I'm hoping for a New South Wales victory. Whether I do actually think it's going to happen, I'm not sure. Um, my heart definitely says New South Wales going to win, but I don't know what my head says. It's kind of even. Uh, part of me thinks New South Wales are going to win because we're playing at home and because we played so well in the last game, but literally every, everything went to plan last game. And Queensland nearly scored a few tries. There was a few times where they got tackled over the line or they dropped the ball, stuff like that. A few things could have went Queensland's way, and that was without... Uh, that was with a pretty weak team. So, uh, Origin's one of those ones where it's so hard to tell. Uh, any team could win, but I'm going to back the Blues. Uh, I'm going to say this one's going to be a lot closer, though. So, 1 to 12 um, is my prediction. Leave in the comment section below what are your predictions for tonight's game. Um, also, who are you going for? And what do you think of the teams? Uh, New South Wales obviously unchanged. Queensland got the few changes there. I think Queensland got to have a much improved performance. Hopefully, New South Wales can, can match it with them, though. Uh, that's, that's what we're, we're backing them for. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that'd be great. It's Mr. Luke on YT. My Facebook page is in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.